So I'm uh, from St. Louis. I'm a theist, and mm -hmm. I have a question regarding morality. Okay. okay. Um, from an atheist point of view, what is the purpose of morality? Like, what is the, you know, what I'm, what I'm getting at? I mean, most atheists seem to have seem to be moral people. They seem to be, you know, nice. I mean, of course, there's exceptions, but what's the reason for that? I'm, I, I'm not quite positive what you're asking. Are you saying why act yeah, in a way there, that is, is general? Any fundamental reason to be moral. Um, like, for example, I, you know, there's people say there's herd instinct or whatever that'll. No, 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 the, no, 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 no. But, you don't have to rely on anything as sublime as instinct. Um, <clears throat> morality can be viewed in a very practical way. Uh, I'd rather not be killed. I'd rather not have my stuff taken. And so I find a bunch of other people who would also rather not be killed and not have their stuff taken. And so we agree that we're not going to kill each other and take each other's stuff and that we're going to enforce this stuff. Um, there are the, the idea that there's no practical benefit to behaving decently uh, is absurd. We are uh, a, 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 an empathic group, partially, but we also live in communities as a collective. And it's, it's natural to realize that, hey, if I'm going to have to live around all these other people, some compromises are going to have to be made. I don't have the ability or the right uh, to just run around and do whatever I want without considering the consequences to other people. However, <clears throat> where, where by and large atheist morality may differ from theistic morality, um, I don't have any objection to somebody uh, doing something, you know, an activity between consenting adults, for example, that doesn't affect anybody outside of, of that situation if, if they're enjoying it. So I, my, my understanding or, or limitations on what I uh, consider moral and immoral is entirely based on the effects that it has on the individual and the group. Okay, well, but let's say that you could benefit somehow by kind of breaking from that rule. Sure and, you can. You know, yeah, you definitely I mean, can. Slavery, I mean, well, slavery is incredibly beneficial to the person who owns the slaves. Yes. Yeah. And, and that's why, you know, societies for the longest time advocated slavery. It's why the Bible advocates slavery, because the people back then realized, hey, we really benefit from being slaves. But all you have to do to find out where the moral problem lies is to talk to a slave who realizes that they're not actually benefiting from this. So that y you have, over time, developed a number of core principles, one of them being this idea of individual freedoms, which, are, which end uh, when they encroach upon the rights of others. But where does that even come from, individual freedoms? I mean, why, why even have that? Why not have... Because like, it, what if society could improve by having a very small percentage of the population enslaved? And, you know, hypothetically, that would make the rest of society into paradise. Okay, but, but, now, you, but now you've, you've, you've separated, uh, first of all, I, I, I don't necessarily buy the hypothetical, <clears throat> but you've separated out two different groups. You've said this group is getting special rights and this group isn't. And w while you can do that, if, if you so choose, my position is that that is untenable for me. Okay, but you don't really know where that comes from. I mean, why, it comes why from me. I am the author and decider of what I consider to be moral. Uh, there is no need for an external source. I can assess a situation and determine whether or not I think a particular action in that situation is either moral according to my standards or immoral according to my standards. I am the arbiter. Well, as, as societies, we, we decide as a group, right? No. But, well... You have, you have your own morality, right? But Correct. But as, as a society, we have the social norms and these sorts we of things. We have shared values. We have shared values, and those ultimately derive from our evolutionary past, right? We have, we have a, an evolutionary history where we're, we're smart and we can reason, we can empathize with the suffering of others, and we can understand the consequences of our actions. And people can remember when we do something bad and they can they can factor that into how they deal with us in the future so there's this notion of reputation that uh... that that comes into play because of these these various factors so um, so ultimately i think our morality comes from our evolutionary past and the fact that we're social species and we we have to have mechanisms to get along in order to 
in order to, to survive. We're, we're a better species because we're a social species. We can work together to solve problems. We can put a man on the moon. We can, we can hopefully address hunger and these sorts of things. See, it's, it's really, it's, it's easy in the areas where we agree, which is why I started with simple examples like murder and theft. Um, th those are, are shared, your, your moral assessments are based on your values, and value is uh, very subjective, you know. How much is this coffee cup worth to you? How much do you value it? How, are you going to be upset if it gets broken? Um, you know, that's, that's going to change based on the situation, etc. Some things are very easy. Other things are a little more complicated, and it is... Uh, when, I, when I go to make an assessment of whether I consider something moral or not, I'm using my values, but I am open to being convinced that I have made an error, that I have, for example, a conflict where I have this value and this value, and they do not reconcile with a given action. For example, the idea that um, I value the, the freedoms of all individuals equally, um, if I were to also hold slaves, that would be a conflict. And Ironically, that's exactly the, the position that you find uh, a lot of religions and a lot of uh, past cultures uh, being involved in, uh, slavery being a prime example. They're, they're, the, the waters get muddy as you begin to look at the seemingly innumerable uh, number of situations, and some things are harder to figure out. That's why we have, you know, I'm sure you've probably seen in email or on a website these various uh, hypothetical ethical dilemmas. You posed one yourself, you know. If, if the world as a whole would benefit if one group got marginalized, um, would that be a sufficient justification for it? And the answer depends on whether or not you value the freedom and rights of all of those people equally. Is, is, your, is your system such that uh, it would be a violation of a higher valued ethical principle, the, the, the rights and freedoms of everyone, uh, to do so. Well, it, it seems like it's pretty arbitrarily chosen, though, that you, you would say, like, all people have free, equal, or, you know, equality or freedom or, or something like that. Well, I think that's, I mean, a, it, that's a property of the fact that... I don't think there's anything that wrong with doing that. I just think it's like, you know, why you pick that, why not, you know, pick some other rule or... Because, oh, no, 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 it's not true. It's not true, and it's not arbitrary. We didn't just say... Uh, let's, let's go ahead and go with freedom for everybody. We learned over the course of millennia which things really are beneficial on the whole, which things encourage progress, societal health. It's not like we flipped a coin and said, yep, we're going to free the black people. That's insane. The use of the word arbitrary and the, and the, and the position that these are things, you know, like we're just picking our morals out of a hat is, is absolutely insane. This is the result. I mean, this, this is one of the reasons why I, I, I rail against biblical uh, views of ethics uh, on a regular basis. It's because this book includes the best thinking of a bunch of Iron and Bronze Age people who thought it was okay to kill unruly children and to own slaves and to treat people as property and to go in and rape and pillage this is the best thinking they could come up to. We have improved upon that. We have built upon what's come out in the past so that we have a better understanding. The fact that we're so good at it, that it's almost intuitive to know, ooh, what he did is wrong and we don't have to sit there and think about it, is a testament to how far we've come. It, nothing about this is arbitrary. It's not just a, hey, I feel like today I'll give rights to everybody. Well, I mean, it, it kind of, can, well, another thing it would be like, most people want to reduce the amount of suffering in the world. That's like another one that's mm -hmm. basically, I mean, arbitrarily chosen. Why? Just what, what makes you, you know, think that this? What, what makes you think that's arbitrary? I would like to. Why, uh, no, why, no, 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 no. Hang why on. Limit suffering. Why not increase suffering? Because or keep suffering the same. Because or, okay, God, this is so painful. Would you like to suffer more or less? Less. There you go. Was that arbitrary or was it based on your preference? No, that's just based on, uh, I, you know, I'm a mammal and I don't like to, I try to avoid suffering. Or like I'm an animal, basically. Okay. You're, you just you're answered your own question. <laughs> you just said the exact same thing that we've been saying. <laughs> well, but why would it be, you know, I mean, I try to avoid suffering. Why not, why would I want to stop others from suffering? 
I mean, I do okay, because we're we're all fundamentally the same. Because we're we're all very very similar in much the same way that you'd like to suffer less, I'd like to suffer less, and we've we've gotten to this point where you and I can work together to see that we suffer less. It is well, in your interest. It is it is in your best interest to assist us in ensuring that everybody suffers less. Because guess what? Here's the, here's the, here's the, the super thing. You're a part of everybody. <laughs> You're a part of that set. You're not off by yourself saying, me versus the world, I want to suffer less, screw those people. That doesn't work. We know it doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, we tried it <laughs> over the millennia. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I appreciate the call, Ryan. Yeah.